Hey guys, this is the Tech Savvy Scientist, and welcome back to yet another trade-up video. As you might have noticed, the prices of the Operation Skins have been skyrocketing over the last few days, so I wanted to do some last-minute trade-ups while the skins are still fairly cheap. And these are the trade-ups. There are almost 30 of them, so I hope you enjoy it. But before you jump into that, join my Discord server. There's a link in the description. We do trade-ups, we stream trade-ups, we just have fun there. It's a fun place, so come and join us. Also, everything I needed to calculate about these trade-ups was done using Trade-Up Spy. So if you'd like to get two free days of premium for every 30 days, then hit the link in the description, and that affiliate link will redirect you to the site. Also, if you're enjoying the video, please leave a like and hit the subscribe button because it helps me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers before the month of April. So if we could hit that, that would be awesome. One more quick disclaimer, the prices are not exact. So some of these trade-ups I did a few weeks ago, and the prices have definitely changed since. So if you're considering doing them, always do yourself your research. The prices are so different that these trade-ups are probably not profitable at all. So keep in mind that these trade-ups are different now than they were when I did them. These trade-ups are in chronological order, so let's jump into the first one. So the first trade-up is going to be a mill spec to Restricted from the Control Collection and the Italy Collection. We have a 67% chance to hit the Control Collection, and we hit the FAMAS Prime Conspiracy, which was a good small profit, not huge, but still better than not profiting. The second one was pretty much the same, only the difference is that we used train skins as fillers. And we missed this, so not good. The next thing is exactly the same as the previous one. And we missed this as well. So the profit is not looking good so far in this video. Let's see if we can bring it back with some industrial grade trade-ups. So we're using five Havoc and five Train Skins. Let's see what we can get. Again, a Train Skin. The Train Collection is the worst collection ever. Moving on, let's do another Mill Spec to Restricted, but this time Ancient Collection. This is more expensive than the Control Collection, so I really hope we can hit at least this one. And we did hit it, we hit the XM Ancient Lore. So that's, again, a very, very good profit. Moving on to the next one. Again, a Control Collection trade-up, but this time using a mix of fillers. And, of course, we get the train again. Next trade-up, I was kind of raging. And I didn't even get the control with the two-thirds chance. So I was super mad here. And then I decided to do some consumer-grade to industrial-grade trade-ups to get some fillers for factory new Bengal Tiger trade-ups. First one, I hit a Volt Heist, which was pretty good. That's, a, that's an input for a trade-up. Second one, I hit a Nova Cage Seal. That's a fail outcome, but that should be fine. Third one was an R8 Phoenix Marker which again is a good input for a P250 Bengal Tiger fact new trade-up. And then I hit another input. Then I missed one, hitting the forest leaves from the safe house collection. Then I hit another input. Then I missed one more. Hit one more. Got another one when I mixed it with the control collection. The control collection gives you a bit better odds. So it's not a bad idea to mix it with that collection. After I've dealt with some disruptions, moving on to the next trade-up, we got another Phoenix Marker. Again, perfect for a Bengal Tiger trade-up. And finally, we get the UMP Houndstooth, which again is just perfect for a Bengal Tiger trade-up. So these consumer grade trade-ups went pretty well, in my opinion. Getting back to the Mill Spectre Restricted trade-ups, I used three from the Control Collection, one from the Ancient Collection, and six fillers from the Italy Collection. Again, two-thirds chance to hit something good, but one-fourth of that is insanely good with the Ancient Collection. Come on, Gaben, at least give me a Control. But of course, Op Pit Viper. What else? What else? So next trade-up I went for was a low float attempt for the Ancient Collection mill specs. I used four CZ Silvers and six Train Fillers. 
and I finally managed to hit a good one, the Tech 9 Blast from the past with a .011 float. Next trade up is a Factor Anew P250 Bengal Tiger attempt. We're using two Factor Anew Havoc skins and eight fillers with double zero floats. There is a one third chance to profit and an 8.33% chance to get the insane profit with the P250 Bengal Tiger. Let's see if Gaben can bless us with something amazing. Nope. Stupid train collection, again, coming not in a clutch. Let's just move on. Next straight up is going to be another Havoc Industrial to mill spec, but this time not for the fact new Bengal Tiger, but for minimal wear. I used four minimal wear skins from the Havoc collection and six minimal wear skins from the train collection. And I hit the Deagle Knight Heist which was the best profit out of the whole trade-up. So that was really good for the balance. Next trade-up is another Factor New Bengal Tiger attempt, but this time with two CZs and only one Havoc skin. You might have seen this, this clip from one of my shorts. I just wanted to include it in a video as well. And we hit the Tech 9 Blast from the past, again with a .008 float. So this is even lower than my low float attempt. So this was really good to hit. Next trade up is a high risk, high reward, mixing only one from the control collection and nine from the bank collection. We have a 25% chance to hit something amazing. The, the, P, the five, seven berries and cherries is the best. And we have a 75% chance to get the AK Emerald Pinstripe. Well, first try is the Emerald Pinstripe. Not a super big surprise. Let's try it again. Same thing. Nine bank, one control. Can we hit it? Nope. Emerald pinstripe again. So let's see what happens if we try different collections. So in this trade up, I used one Galil Tuxedo from bank, one Scar 20 from the control collection, and eight fillers from the Italy collection. And we hit the op hit viper. Gaben is not liking us today. And the final trade up, again, a 25% chance for big profit using one bank, eight from Italy, and one control. Come on, Gaben, you can do this. Boom, bam, bop, bada bop, boom, pow. Oh! And it did, so nice ending to the video with the FAMAS Prime Conspiracy. This is only field tested, but that should be fine. The floats don't really matter on these collection skins because people just use them in trade up in, in trade up, no matter what the float is, so they'll pay pretty much the exact same price for field tested as a minimal wear, so that should be fine. So after losing most of the mill spec to restricted, this video is definitely a loss, but I'm not, not even gonna attempt to calculate how big loss, how big of a loss it was, because the prices are changing so quickly. I didn't take a note of every single skin and how much I paid for it, so it would be pretty much impossible to calculate my profit, but it's definitely still a loss. But if you enjoy this video and you still aren't subscribed, then please hit the subscribe button. Since you watched it to the end, you definitely did enjoy it, so hit the like button as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll hope to see you in the next video.